Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is KDD, and I want to show you all how to fix uh, a problem sending MMS through Verizon prepaid. Um, this is a Sprint branded Galaxy S3 that was flashed to Verizon prepaid, courtesy of SmartphonesUnlimited.net. So definitely check those guys out if you're interested in getting your phone flashed. They do great work. Uh, it's a remote process, and it's pretty painless. It's done in a few minutes. Anyway. The problem is, is that when you flash a phone over to a prepaid provider, um, the stock MMS doesn't work. <laughs> uh, text works great, but trying to send pictures does not work at all. Um, there's a, a crappy way of doing it through a third-party app that I won't mention because it is a good app. But uh, basically what it does is it, it sends a hyperlink to your, your image, which is kind of dumb, but anyway. So, after weeks of scouring the internet, I finally figured out a way to fix this. And first, let me show you that um, this is a, uh, that this is on Verizon. So, we're going to make a quick phone call here so you can hear it. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Thank you. Now, basically, um, again, I'm running a, a rooted device. Um, it's a signage and mob nightly build from a few weeks ago. Um, I don't know if this fix will actually work on stock ICS or Jelly Bean. I haven't tried it, and I'm not in the position right now to go back and unroot and load up stock to see if this still works. But anyway, do this at your own risk. You could try it on ICS stock and stock jelly bean if it works great. If not, then I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, what you're going to want to do first is go to the Play Store. And you're going to want to download an app based on what build you're running called Tweaker. There's a couple different versions. So I would just make sure that you pick the one that you need. Now I am running a beta version for ICS. So you're going to want to download that. I'll let it finish loading. You'll hit begin setup. Sometimes you have to click that a couple times to get it going. Okay, it's going to come up and it's going to say choose your provider, um, choose other, and then pick your provider out of this. This is for Verizon, so we're, I'm going to click on Verizon. And my device is already set up. Uh, now you're going to want to confirm this. And it says it's not going to be su supported, so you're going to do manual setup. And then now what you're going to do is go to access point names, which is this button down here. And then it's going to bring up this hidden menu that's not in ICS or Jelly Bean. Now, the key here is, is that you have to modify an existing entry. Um, for some reason, there is a function for new APN, but it doesn't save. So the trick is that you have to modify one. Now, each one of these... Um, has different information in it, you know, pointing to Sprint stuff. So I took all that stuff out since I'm not using Sprint anymore. And I believe this one was actually called APN1 EHRPD something. Anyway, so I opened that one up and I changed everything. Name, Verizon, APN, Internet, proxy is not set, port's not set, username's not set, password, server, um, you're going to want to change the MMSC link to mms.vtex.com forward slash servlets forward slash MMS. Everything else is not set. And then when you're done, you're going to hit your menu button and click save. Make sure you click save. And then when you're done and you back out, this APN name will change to Verizon. I would suggest rebooting your phone when you're done, just to make sure everything has taken into effect. Um, and then we're going to test it. 
So I'm going to send a new message. I'm going to attach a picture. And I'm sending this to my wife's phone, which is right here. Again, courtesy of, uh, this is a Galaxy S2 that flashed to Verizon. So I'm going to go ahead and send this. And then you'll see it says, you probably can't see it that well, but it does say sending. And it usually takes it a few seconds, I'd probably say. Oh, 20 to 30 seconds, really. And it should finish up just like a normal text, and it'll have the date and timestamp on here. Um, and again, it doesn't matter if you're Verizon to Verizon or Verizon to AT&T or Verizon to Sprint. Um, okay, it's sent 6.37 p.m. I send it to this phone here. Of course, she has all of her notifications turned off. Come on. Where's my... Oh, and there it is. And there's the picture I just sent. It's through the stock messenger, pictures, done. No more of this third-party app nonsense to send a picture. Um, again, I don't know if this is going to work on stock, but you can try it. can't hurt. Whatever you do, don't screw up your phone. I'm not responsible. And I wanted to give out another shout-out to uh, Brad at SmartphonesUnlimited.net. He's also on YouTube as PS3 Evader, so have a look at his videos. They do great work, uh, reasonable rates, remote process is painless and simple. Anyway, that's all for now. Later.